Okay. What's your uh, What's your take on Pond Island? What you heard earlier? Well, I don't know. My My take on Pond Island. It's a really remote place. It's uh, It's not forested, so there's really nothing to see there. It's just a lot of beach. And, and uh, it's really tough to get in, get out. It's one of those places you just don't need to be. Have you ever been out there? Have you no, I'm not going to get that close to Pond Island. Pond Island is too rough. It's too rough? Too rough. It's almost inaccessible. Have you, know, have you known anybody that tried to stay on it or anything like that? No, I'm sure that over the years people have had no choice but to get on Pond Island. But yes, the only person that I'm sure ever lived there was John Darling. His, uh, the town records in Hopswell show that John Darling, they called him a hermit, but he was a ward of the town of Hopswell. He lived there year round. He was an enormous man, and he lived there by himself. And uh, the pictures of him exist. And it's living there is, it would be a, just a continued hardship. A lot of people speculate why he lived there when there's so many other islands that are just so much more friendly to be. Andrew, so what, what kind of mad juju are you talking about? No, I don't particularly know. Um, my dad lived in this house and he has since passed away, but he didn't have any fun memories, recollections, or thoughts otherwise about Pond Island, and so it was just sort of one of those things that we just left alone. Some things are better left unsaid, is what my father said. Are there any specific You know what, I'm not, I, I haven't lived here for a really long time, so I don't know in particular all of the um, uh, bits and pieces regarding that. However, um, I just know that not so friendly a place. Are there? Ghosts on the island? Uh, you know, I've never heard that there aren't. <laughs> there aren't. <laughs> right. Right. So, um, I really don't have any uh, particular experience out there, but I've just heard that, you know, like bad things happen out there. And as a local person, I wouldn't, that's not where I would choose to spend my vacation time. You gotta say, it, treasure. Pardon? You ever heard anybody bring it? I have heard about treasure. I don't know any of the details regarding that, but I have heard about treasure. And um, there's supposedly one out there buried somewhere in the pond. And do you believe in ghosts? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Absolutely, without a doubt. Have you ever seen one? Not personally. I'm kind of waiting anxiously <laughs> here in my father's house, <laughs> waiting for a visit from somebody. But no. Yeah, maybe what, not. I'm not in tune enough. Where'd the big lobster come from? That came from Alden Lehman Jr., who's been here tonight at the party. He caught that off. Oh, behind you. Yeah. Alden Lehman. The Audie. third. The third. Al Alden Lehman the, the third, sorry. What's about the big lobster that's in there? Right. Named Lester the Lobster. Lester? Yeah. It's my dad's name. <laughs> The ghost lives in the lobster shell. <laughs> There's another ghost. Yeah. We got, uh, Are you Andrew. still talking about this shit? We're, We're talking about, about lobster the lobster, lobster. now. Oh, that's even better. Okay, as long as you're off the other topic, then that's cool. Oh, we'll get back right. to it, don't right. worry. Okay, well. Yeah. You know, seriously. What about the lobster? How big is it? I eat it. The lobster, 25 pounds. Jeez. Yeah? And you caught it in a trap, or no? And then, yes. Coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. In a coincidence. This is fishery service. <laughs> <laughs> no, I caught it in a net, and it's legal. It's legal. Oh, definitely. Oh, wow. <laughs> and huge.